Because I'm a vodka drinker, and as much as I know that like... Oh, don't say that out loud to cocktail people. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding to you her. I'm just kidding to cocktail. Me. I'm just kidding. In honor of St. Patrick, and in honor of my little brother who loves Irish whiskey, we're gonna taste some Irish whiskey today. So we're gonna take four different bottles of Irish whiskey that are all under $35 and taste them. So there's four main categories of Irish whiskey. The first being malt whiskey, which is made from 100% malted barley made in a pot still. Then there's pot still whiskey, which is made from 30% malted barley, 30% unmalted barley, and up to 5% other cereal grains. And this is also made in a pot still. Then there's grain whiskey, which can have a max 30% malted barley, plus any other cereal grains. Grain whiskey is made in a column still. And then there's blended whiskey, which is basically made from any combination of those other three. And last fun fact before we go taste some delicious Irish whiskey is that most of these are triple distilled. Both the ones we're gonna try, I think they're all triple distilled and just Irish whiskeys in general. My name is Jason, this is making you a bartending pro. Let's go taste some Irish whiskey. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, got the misses with me. If you are a serious Irish whiskey drinker, then you'll probably know these and have your preference. But if you don't, then this will just be fun. Something for St. Patty's Day. That's why I'm wearing green. Right? Me too, sort I think. Of, sort of wearing muted. green. Four different bottles. Control, our control element is Jameson because this is really popular. So many people drink this. Cases and cases and cases of this at my bar versus anything else. Black Bush. This was one when I was researching. Sorry. <laughs> she thinks that's I mean... hilarious. This was a common one that people had requested. So wanted to throw this one in there. My brother, who is also a uh, very avid Irish whiskey drinker, he also recommended this was a good one. Powers Gold Label. This is another common one that a lot of people like to see. You've seen it out there a little bit, but just kind of wanted to throw it out there. And then Sexton, wanted to have a good single malt. So these are our options. I think we should kind of start on this side and work our way down. Yeah, I've never tried any of these. I will say Jameson, funny backstory. I used to work at a bar in college where I bartended because I learned how to bartend from this guy, um, we had the largest grossing Jameson account in the country, apparently. So anytime I went to any of those bars, I was welcomed with shots of Jameson. Is it a shocker that a college bar is the number one selling Jameson <laughs> count in the country? Is that what it was, or the world? It was in the country, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little taster of each of these whiskeys. Um, we have these whiskey rocks that are chilled. They've been sitting in the freezer. You're a whiskey expert and you're like, oh my God, you're gonna completely ruin the flavor. Then sorry, we it all up. But that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna start with a basic pour, give a little sip, and then I wanna add a little bit of water to it and see how it opens up the flavors. That's a good idea. John okay. Jameson founded his distillery in Dublin in 1780 to realize his ambition of making the highest quality whiskey. Today, Jameson is still made in a single distillery using rich pot still whiskey from malted and unmalted barley and the finest grain whiskey, both distilled three times for smoothness. Cheers. Okay, so first sip is no additives. What are we smelling? You get a little- Cherry. Apple? Cherry? I get cherry and like, Mesquite, maybe. Like, you know that wood, not mesquite, but like cedar? Like what you kind of grill, cedar like wood, a yeah. grill, like wood. Kind of those little barley notes in there. Okay, so that's the nose. Caramely. Yep. Whiskey rock touched my <laughs> nose. <laughs> the whiskey rock does kind of hit your nose on these. It's It sweetens up. It is sweet. It's very sweet. I get those hints of apple as well. Um, Apple, it's dry. Cherry, I would say it's dry. A little, like it pull. it's like astringent a little bit. Like it pulls the um, moisture yeah. out of your mouth. Just okay. teen, teeny So times. just a little splash of water. I mean, it just softens it up a bit, right? It doesn't make it quite so intense when it like hits your palate, not so like hot. Yeah, it's not as hot. It smooths it out quite a bit, huh? Mm-hmm. Way better that way, I think. Sorry, <laughs> personal opinion. Well, I mean, that's why you drink it on the rocks. To yeah. kind of soften my it up. My favorite way to drink whiskey is in Usually a hot I... toddy. <clears throat> yeah, Just there to give go. my which, opinion. That's, but, that's another one we'll do soon. Which I do use Jameson a lot for that. And a lot of times when I would pour whiskeys, whether it's bourbon or, you know, Irish, whatever, any sort of whiskey, they would, you know, kind of 
Stir it a little. Yeah, they'd let it, they'd stir it a little bit and let it kind of soften up before they started sipping on it. All right, so that's Jameson. Next. New rocks. Black Bush. I'm excited to try this one. Yeah, I was surprised how common it came up, how commonly, how often, how commonly, how often it came up <laughs> in comments when I was researching sort of like, what brands and everybody was like black bush black bush and bush mills in general is one of your standard yes kind of, super common in a bar yeah super common you can find it well and also ones that aren't like a hundred dollar bottles because as much oh, as i'd like to yeah. believe that so, I, yeah. we'd all want to buy a hundred dollar bottles of booze like the reality is most of us just want to drink stuff that we can actually afford so yeah you said these are all what under 30 dollars or around 30. they're all under 35. All under $35. So Sexton's 35. I think each of this, the powers and the Jameson, when I bought them were each 31 or 30, 30, 31. It's a pretty reasonable price point if you ask me. Oh, Jason really wants to try that one. Well, I'm just, I'm trying to make them even. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Bottle number two. Kind of a more less, of a- Less cherry for sure. Like- It's almost like a- um, Little like- it reminds me when you're painting your toenails. What's that? What would acetone? that be? Acetone? Acetone kind of? Well, acetone is just up. alcohol. Sorry, right? So it makes sense. It's heavy alcohol forward. She's smart. I need to have her on more often. <laughs> honey. I get a little bit of honey. Yeah. I was like, caramel's not the right word. What's the sweetness? Kind of honey. Apple. Sherry barrels. Yeah. So that's what we're getting with those like wood notes. This is more bitter. I have this feeling like it wraps my mouth. But like round. Yeah, there you go, round. Less astringent, for sure. Like it doesn't pull the moisture out of your mouth the way the not other like one the did. J not like Jameson. But no. a little nutty too, I think. Yeah, you get that. Almond? Peanut? Yeah, like when I just like kind of took a little bit in my mouth and kind of swished it around a little bit, like a roasted peanuts. Mm. That's a little kind salty of... nuts, a little salty nuts. Goes well with a black bush. <laughs> <laughs> Curious about how this tastes on its own, but also which of these has the most hmm. unique characteristics that will be interesting in cocktails? Because I'm gonna use these bottles, obviously, in some cocktails coming up. I do- I that honey. Yeah, I do think that the Jameson is better, like, if you were gonna, like, take a shot of whiskey. Mm -hmm. Like, it's better for that. This, I think, would be more interesting. It has more interesting characteristics in mixed a cocktail? in a cocktail. All right, let's water these down a little. A little. Shakeroo. I get a, I get a fruit in there now. I mean, it's very heavy, it like apple, like a cinnamon. Cherry? Cin yeah, it's something. It's Is like it an apple. It's apple, cinnamon. That's really and interesting. And then that nuttiness. That just that little splash of water opened it up. I didn't know if it made a difference if it was like room temperature water versus cold water. I mean, in theory, right? When something's room temperature, it's going to open up more, like with wine, same concept. Yeah, so with wine, FYI, if you have like a white wine, for instance, that's like too cold, you won't be able to taste it as well. Yeah. We'll save that for another time. More of that nutty, more yeah. of the like fruity. Definitely peanut. It's peanut for sure. That's interesting. Like, and I don't smell the nuttiness. It's just when just I taste, taste it, it, it's like very peanut forward. Yeah. It's crazy I, how much just I think just I like the Jameson better. Maybe wow. I got like... Sorry, Bushmill black fans. Um, um, I got hazed when I was in college. Like it's, I've, it's been ingrained into my brain. I don't know. No, it's singed into our it's palate. It's singed into my palate. Moving on to the next? Yeah. Okay. Fresh whiskey rocks. Fresh rocks. So what are we doing next? Powers. I'm guessing this one is gonna have a little more fire, a little more heat. It is a slightly higher proof. 86.4 proof. So Oof. that's, uh, you know, 43.2, I believe each of these is straight 40%, the other ones. Which is typical. Which is pretty standard. It's a satisfying noise. It's like cracking a, a can, like that. <laughs> yeah, similar. Full flavor, triple distilled. <clears throat> cheers. All right, cheers. Nose. Ooh, it almost like smells less alcohol intense, I think. Really? I don't get that like intense, like. Yeah. Like you were saying, like nail polishy sort of ethanol. acetone. Yeah, it has a. There's more apple in there. Apple. Yep. Apple. And what else can again? Get out of like that? earthy flavor. I almost get a tiny, little hint of acetone though. It's not like a wine, right? You're not we're supposed just to doing stick this your a... nose really deep in there because it just fries 
your nose or or oral or, oral factory. Just leave it. It's fine. Well, what is it called? Olfactory. Olfactory. <laughs> Definitely heat on that. Sweeter though. Do you think? A little more apple, like definitely, but like, like Granny Smith apple. Mm hmm. You know it's what like I mean? Tart. Yeah. It's a tarty apple. This kind of seems like a basic bitch one. Like, it's good and it's smooth, but it has less character characteristics than the other ones, I would say. Com less complexity? Yes. I'm really curious to try this with the water. A little bit of that woodiness, but not a lot. Not. You know, doesn't I don't get any nuttiness from this at all. Letting it sit on the palate a little bit, kind of a little caramel. Am I making stuff up? No, I just think that's because <laughs> it's reaching. it's. Okay, so let's try it a little water. A little reach around action. Hey, you like it? More of that acetone coming through. Yeah, it almost seems more alcohol forward when you add the water. Yeah, it's weird. It's sweeter when it's not. Diluted. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. And a little, I, I'm getting a little bit of that astringent on my tongue like that. Okay, so what's your, we got one more to go. I think both of us are most excited about trying the Sexton. What, what's your favorite so far? I think if I was... <laughs> I know what her, I know the answer is. <laughs> my favorite if I was just gonna drink one would, would be Jameson at this point, I think. <laughs> but I was, think the we're bush- We're gonna lose all our credit if we do this whole thing and, not, and we pick Jameson as our favorite. I haven't tried the last one. <laughs> I gave you a fair warning that I don't know about whiskey, but I do know how to taste characteristics. I mean, this bottle is definitely- There's a lot of- 10 cream. out of 10 for aesthetics. Mm, this one's got a cool little story on it, so we'll have to Ooh, read, that. read it. Sexton. This is a single malt. This is the only single malt that we single have. Single malt. And I'm gonna read you a little story. Up in the cold gray northern reaches of County Antrim, alongside St. Columns Rill, the Sexton selects the best strains of barley for malting, patiently distilled in copper pot stills to create a precious elixir. The Sexton whiskey is a smooth and flavorful single malt of intriguing complexity. Wait, wait, it keeps going. Oh, it does. Show up before dawn and you'll catch on the cool morning breeze the unmistakable oak from breathing casks once filled with Spanish sherry, now brimming with aqua vitae. Steal a drop, aqua savor vitae. the notes of rich dried fruit and complexity driven by years in a deep oak encased slumber. You see, to be the sexton is a spiritual trade and whiskey is his favorite spirit. This is my favorite already and I haven't even tried it. Okay, fresh bottle. How's the? Ooh, it's pretty good. Ooh. Oh Ooh. boy. Oh, oh it doesn't pour Lord. easily though. That is the hard thing about a short neck is it won't pour as easily. It's a little bit for the dead homies out there. Ooh, on this wow. bottle. how's that smell? That smells good. Oh, wait, oh yeah. Cheers. Wow, what did I get? Definitely cherry. Smells smooth. Crayon almost? It's interesting, like waxy. Waxy. But then there's a woody. Definitely woody. Those oak casks. Like cherry and apricot would be cherry the fruit. Cherry and apricot. Okay. Ooh, that's. Much more complex. More complex, but also a little Rich. harsh. Really? Pretty standard, I think, with like single malts mm -hmm. versus blended. They're more alcohol That's forward? The, well, this is more alcohol forward. Yeah, totally, because this is a single malt, and the blended whiskeys, it just, which it makes sense, right? If you had variations basically going into a blend and it just softens it. Yeah, it makes sense that a single malt would have a little more boldness to it, we'll say. Well, I'm interested to taste this with a little bit of water in it. I mean, I just think it's, it has a lot more complexity. I can taste those fruit forward notes for sure. Yeah, that, that, Complexity, those characteristics are what are Forward. fun. That's what's fun to build against right. in a cocktail. And that's what's fun Versus to Versus like, like Jameson is an easy drinking, but it's not necessarily gonna add anything gonna interesting to your out. drink. Right, exactly. Right, that you know? makes sense. So this is fun because you can try to pull out different characteristics with modifiers or other alcohols. It's definitely even. sweet. It, it has a bit of a sweetness to it. It's definitely warm on the finish, right? We're drinking straight whiskey, that's what happens. <laughs> See what I have to deal with? Okay, should we put a little water on it? Yeah, I, I think 
I think that's gonna be actually really interesting. I'm a big proponent of adding water to anything. Like I'm a big martini drinker, but I do. Ooh, wow, it turned to maple. Almost. I do water my martinis down a little bit. Oh yeah, hundred percent maple. Get that Good call. A apricot. And like maybe it's that maples that I was getting at first, and I couldn't identify. Spice. I'm trying to like. Is maybe it like vanilla? anise Some... or maybe it's vanilla? I I get more like maybe a cinnamon anise. Vanilla. Vanilla. Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> We're having a great time. This is excellent with a little bit of water. This is my favorite by far with a little water in it. And, and it's not just because I've had three before this. <laughs> the naysayers will disagree, but. I mean, look at this bottle and the story. You it definitely had the most effect adding water to this one. I find it the most interesting. Yeah, complexity wise. I mean, as I said, we can revisit the Jameson one more time. <laughs> We'll get a couple of little basic shot glasses because Jameson is used to being poured into shot glasses. That's correct. A little splash to compare against. What are we doing? Who knows? We're just playing around drinking whiskey. Just have fun with it. Well, and it's all a personal opinion, right? Oh, like, wow, God, that's crazy how much that water just changes that. It is personal opinion. Everybody's palates are different, so don't let anybody bottle shame you. You know, whatever you like is what you like. I know people oh, who really- I get popcorn on that. I don't get popcorn. But Same I mean, different palette. And then this now, I almost get like earthy mm -hmm. clay. Yeah, like the peat, like the peatiness. That's wild. Like, comparing those two. This is very sweet and less earthy than the others. I will say. Cotton candy, cotton candy and popcorn. I want to go to the carnival with some Jameson. I could see popcorn. It's definitely kind of the sweetest like, of the it's three. It's kettle of the four. corn. Kettle ah, corn. Right. Split the difference with the sweet and the popcorn. It's totally kettle corn. Which, like, who doesn't love kettle corn? What do you think? Sweetest? I would say this is, has most fruit forward notes and is easiest drinking. Blackbush, caramely, apple, woody. Like, like woody, sweet caramel apple. This is good, I think, in a cocktail. Powers, Powers was probably my least favorite. Really? Yeah, I don't. It's I'm, interesting. I've seen some other cocktail dudes, and this one there, always ranks most? decently high. Nah, well, that shows how much I know. No, but that's the thing is it doesn't really matter. It's all personal preference. Like, some expert tells you that's the best, but if that tastes like dog shit to you because your palate's different, then, sure. you know, drink what you want. Then Again, ultimately, was. it's all personal preference. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you got and whatever you want and whatever yeah, you want to make. I think we both agree this is kind of our favorite of the four was the Sexton. Yeah, I think it just has the most complexity. Yeah, for sure. Like interesting oak flavors and fruit forward, but like in a had, way that's mellow with a little water in it. It was excellent. Yeah, it I definitely think. had the most uh, interesting adjustment when you put some dilution to it. Yes, agreed. So. I could see putting like all of these in a hot toddy. This I don't like. It's too good for that. Oh you know really? What I mean, like I don't think I. This it would bumps, still. This bumps up into don't drink it other than straight for you almost. Like in a hot toddy, it's like with tea and lemon and honey and all things like you kind of lose. It's gonna get lost. It's gonna get lost. See, yeah, that's why I like the complex flavors is I think it'll hold up better against yeah, could be. stuff like that. If you wanted something sweeter, if you wanted something richer, and if you wanted something stronger. Yeah, 100%. Um, and then if you wanted some and just interesting- And if you're interesting... a sucker for a good story and a good <laughs> label. Sexton. There you go, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have a favorite Irish whiskey, then please you know, feel free to share your input in the comments below. If there was a bottle that you would have liked to have seen in this comparison, then let us know. Maybe we could throw it into another one of these down the road. Thank you to my beautiful wife for jumping in on the party because she does have a savvy palette to contribute good information. So thanks for coming on, babe. Yeah, of course. Someday. If you do have any interest in learning a little bit about wine and you would like to see that video because he's trying to convince me and I'm like, do people really care? Please comment and let us know. I'll because link to it. ultimately we want to give you guys what, and by we, I mean him, um, want to give you what you want to learn in here. So let us know if you're interested in learning a little bit more about wine and I'd be happy to do a video for you. Oh, it's gonna happen. Make sure, if you like this video, give it a nice thumbs up. If you wanna stay in touch for any videos in the future, make sure you subscribe. If you're interested in being a professional bartender, make sure you check out bartendingblueprint.com website. This has been making you a bartending pro. My name is Jason, this is Heidi, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers.